In this tutorial we are going to assemble the bottom four components of our bridge to make one side. So there's various ways we can assemble our bridge. You've just got to think about what's going to be the quickest and simplest structure or way to put it together without having to replicate or duplicate all your work. So this is why we've created this one solid structure here, so we didn't have to create all these fasten mates or revolute mates again and, and again and again and again for all the different sections of your bridge. So what we're going to do is we're just going to continue on and we're going to add a couple more members in which go across just here. And then we're going to actually copy this over and, and move it down. So let's start with those members. So just insert, I need two members. But I'm just going to put in one because we need to change the orientation. So using your right mouse button, click and hold and you can orientate your screen. Click on your member there until you can see this little arrow here and you can drag it down so it's 90 degrees. So we want the hole flat uh, so it can connect into that pin. So again, it's just a Revolute mate. So click the Revolute, zoom in so you can see it. Click that little blue line, zoom out, hold shift and the jog wheel to move your screen and then get to a better position until you can click that blue line again. We've got it there and remember tip is hit solve tick. So now we're just going to copy this one over because it's already the same orientation we need and we're going to put it onto this member or this pin over here. So control C, click off it, control V, and then Revolute Mate, and again, zoom in, click the blue line, move over, and I'm clicking on the top. Now, if you click down the bottom here, as you can see, the member actually goes in. Remember, we can just offset that. You can go offset, it's three, and we just got to choose if it's negative or positive, depending on the direction we want. So I want negative three, and it goes there. Solve tick, and that is basically most components of our bridge assembled in that. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to hide various sections of this and uh, make it a little bit easier for us. So what we're going to do is we're going to hide the members on the outside here. So just select them both, right click, hide. And we're going to copy this structure here. So highlight the whole thing, control C, control V, and then that pastes the exact same setup over here. So what we can do is we can actually move that. Now, because we fixed that first gusset, we just got to make sure that this gusset here isn't fixed. So you can look down and you can go, okay, that's the fixed icon, but that icon's nowhere near along any of our other pieces. So that means this should be able to move. So now we've copied over our second section there. What we need to do is just unhide those two members that were on the right hand and left hand side there. So just click, right click show all. Now it shows all the mate connectors and the mates. We don't need to see any of that. So if you just zoom in, and we just want to right click on one of them, hide other mates or hide all other mates until they all remove. So right click on them, hide all other mates or mate connectors. So you should have this extra piece just here. So the rivets are already in place just here. What we need to do is now connect them over there and over there. So all we need to do is again, revolute mate, so we're going to just nice and simply zoom in to our pin just here. Going to click that little blue line. We're going to zoom out, move over until we go over to our member here and click the same. Now remember when you hit solve, it'll move everything with it. Now we've just still got to offset it. So as you can see, the members are actually in our gusset there. We need it sitting on this. So we're going to offset by three and solve and now it's in place. Tick, 
close that next revolute mate we don't need that one yet and we are starting to assemble our bridge so we're going to do the same thing on the other side so now we've just got this bottom row going we're going to have to have four of these groups down the bottom which will create our base of our bridge so we'll have four of the same so all we need to do is the same thing as before we're just going to hide this member and we're going to copy this and because we need it two more times we're going to paste it now remember wherever your mouse is that's where it'll paste so it can be rough but uh, just try to put your mouse where you sort of want the object so right click again or right click on a white space show all and that brings up our member now remember you just hover above and click on or right click on one of these and go hide other mates and hide all mates and all mate connectors and that removes all those extra things that we don't need right now so what we're going to do is we're going to connect this one over here and then we're going to insert some new members so zoom in on it revolute mate right bang in the middle now i'm just working in a front view so it makes it nice and easy because you can just click the center of your circles now we just need to make sure everything is offset now see how it didn't remove all this over it's because we haven't hit the solve button yet so just pay attention to that just offset it first three mil now that's the wrong direction so we're just going to go negative three mil there it is solve and then tick and as you can see it's in our right position so the last one is we just need to put it over here so we're just going to copy this member left click it you can then go control C control V oh last thing I forgot to cancel this revolute mate so that's why it's not allowing me to do anything so I'm just going to cancel that click on your member control C click off it control V and then we're just going to put those revolute mates on so little blue blue and then again offset three and we want to go negative three because it went the wrong way solve tick and then last one is just down here so it's revolute mate again it's automatically ready to go click our center we want to offset it solve tick so there we have one side of our bridge completed